Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Resident Evil 4 HD on the PS3. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite games from the PS2 era. Uh, in fact, I think I've completed this game more than any other. Um, but I mean, it's it's been a few years since I last did that, So, uh, but we are going to be playing it on uh, professional difficulty. Um, just to make it that little bit different and that little bit more interesting um, for both of us, really. Um, in case you're new to my videos, um, welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Moonwalker Morris. Uh, you can call me, uh, you know, Morris or Mooney or stop talking over the video, whatever. But, I mean, <laughs> regardless of that, uh, I hope you enjoy this, guys. This is the game that made me want to start making videos. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Um, so let's get let's let's get going. Resident oh, and I, uh, I promise... Or not to be talking over cutscenes. Too much, anyway. Uh, we'll go for the normal costume. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Ah, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alrighty then. Let's get going. Um, if I remember the last time I played this, um, I played it through once on the PS3. But they changed the controls ever so slightly. Yeah. So hopefully uh, I won't forget that mid mid combat. Ah, uh, let's go. Ooh. Spooky. Better go check it out. You know. What's the knife button? Aha. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they made ever so slight changes and when you played it as much as I have, that kind of really it really throws you off the first time around. Uh, excuse me, sir. Nice place you got here. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Reflexes. Freeze. I said freeze. Freeze or I'm going to put you down. Oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Kick. Knife. Look at that. Classic Resident Evil 4 combo. Bullet kick. Knife. Yeah, I'm one of those guys who's really stingy when it comes to hoarding ammo and everything. Health items. Shit. But I think you have to be unprofessional. I don't know. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there. And <laughs> I had no choice. I had to shoot him in the face, kick him, and then stab him. Save the subject. Understood. So if anyone asks, that is definitely what I had to do. Ooh, bullets. Thank you. Thank you, generous dead man. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not going to jump out there. Ah, you thought I was going to jump out there, but I'm not. This is what I normally do. I just think it's slightly safer. Up. Oh, I don't think so. Ah, better reload. Ah. Oh my god, I nearly got hit. You guys are tough, and these are like the first people. I probably used too much ammo there, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, like I say, it's been a while since I played. So that's my excuse for every time anything ever goes wrong, ever. But I mean, I still remember where most things are, so that's good. Like this grenade. Oh, where's a grenade, you ask? Well, it's inside this bird. Eh? Eh? I ain't playing around. Ah. Much better, eh? I wonder if we'll ever see that dog again. I hope so. Ah, my parents have gone out today, right? To buy... Well, not to... Well, to, to browse for a puppy. And, you know, I probably should have gone with them. But I mean, I'm not going to be here for like most of the- Hey, stop shouting at me. I'm going to be here for most of the year. 
I don't know. I take a very Homer Simpson approach to these things. I'm quite cynical. I mean, a puppy? Come on. I mean, you know I'm going to be the one that ends, while I'm here, ends up walking it all the time and trying to train it and then trying to just look after it all the time. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a... I like dogs, but I'm not really a big puppy fan, you know? Pictures of them, that's fine. With, may with maybe a hilarious caption, you know. I'm not going to argue with that. Oh, I missed. God, I'm wasting so much ammo. Don't you run at me aggressively. Oh, by the way, I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. Uh, because, this, you know, with the save points and all that, I don't know where I'm going to be at, you know, 15 minutes or however long I end up making them. So we'll just see what happens. We'll, we'll end the episode when I feel the episode should be ended. So probably right before boss fights and things like that. Uh, okay. So we're already coming up to the first big moment of the game. That's why I love this game. It's it's. I mean, while it's horror, it's just it's kind of it it splices the action in just beautifully. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Bad question. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope oh, you thanks. Find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. This is the manual for in case you hadn't already figured out how to do everything. What the hell? How do I quit? Oh. It's like, yeah, press this to aim, and it's like, well, how do you think I got this far? Oh, let's look. I probably shouldn't. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well. Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. Yeah. Sorry, I stopped talking then because I thought someone might hear me <laughs> in the game. Uh, yeah, I normally just uh, jump in here just to get a few extra things. Um, it should be, yeah, some bullets here and everything. And then uh, run up through here. And then the battle starts. I'm not even going to kill her. I'm going to leave her there. There's a message to the others. Yeah, this can, oh, this could go horribly wrong straight away. Because once you go in this building, you never know how it's going to end. Chainsaw. Chainsaw. God damn it. That ought to hold him. Oh no. Son of a... Son of a... Uh, so here we go. God, I could die straight away. That would be awful embarrassing. It's okay, if I die repeatedly in areas, I'm just gonna <laughs> edit it so you don't have to watch. All right, let's go. Through the invisible enemies. Up. Oh. How did you miss? Okay. Good. Okay, normally I go over here and then that grenade we picked up. Because everybody you'll be running to. Oh my god. I gotta wait for a few more people first. And then I just use the grenade on everyone. You know? That's what they're there for. Plus you get this chainsaw guy as well. So. Ow! There we go. And that releases the next horde. Uh, it's hard to tell what, what kind of damage things are going to do as well. Because like I say, I don't pro play professional that much. I could probably take one more hit, but I mean I'll use it uh, just in case. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, now go over here and wait for the second horde. There they are. And then we use the second grenade. There is a really cheap way of doing this as well. Ow. Like a really, re I can't believe that hit me. <laughs> like a proper cheap way of doing it. And you can climb up this ladder or something. And then, um... I think you climb up this ladder into this tower. 
It's just behind me. And um, oh my god, there's so many enemies. And when you jump back down, they'll all sort of... They don't come near the bottom of the ladder, so you can just keep going up and down and up and down. And it's fine. No, nothing will ever hit you. As long as you wait a certain amount of time, eventually they'll all just disappear. But I don't want to do it that way. That's not very exciting. It's a bit too cheap, you know? I prefer to run around like a... Like a headless chicken. Yeah, I think it's it's seven minutes. Because I remember I u it's, it's exactly seven minutes. Because I used to do it when I was um, when I was a little girl. And didn't really like Resident Evil. It's not really that scary either, this one. Like, I remember the earlier ones being really scary. But this one, not so much. Any enemies there? Nope. Good. Need some more shells. Ah, uh, why doesn't this guy die? That's so frustrating. Now I gotta reload and everything. See, look, normally I'd end the part now, but I mean, I'm not gonna... I don't, I don't really want to end it on this. <laughs> Helplessly, oh my god. They didn't even climb up this one. Helplessly running away with no ammo. Ah, three shells, come on. That was probably a waste. Where's the chainsaw guy? Oh, got that just in time. Okay, fine, I'll switch back to the pistol. Oh. I can't believe that didn't hit me. I'm so happy though. There's any more shells around here. Oh. This is where we'll use the last couple of shells. And why not? Why not? You know, who uses these ones anyway? <laughs> oh. oh, did I get the chainsaw guy? Oh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Yes. Sweet. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler. Greatest line ever. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Ha! <laughs> Whoo! You know when it's so funny that you just you're laughing so hard inside? God. That's one of those lines. Onigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's And also to everyone people. is trying to kill Leon, me. <laughs> you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Yeah, look for a tower. That would be the tower. This is like the glitch tower. So if you are a sissy baby girl like I used to be, what you do is climb up here. And you're all safe and sound. But they do throw things in. Um, so you can't stay up too long. And then you just jump down. And all of them will be like gathered over there. And then you can just spin around and climb up again and keep doing that for seven minutes. And then eventually that bell will ring and they'll all disappear. But that's not fun, I don't, I don't like that. My knife can cut through anything. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remember if there's any other glitches I know of. Not in this point of the game. Uh, I should probably heal myself. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted. Get my health up as quick as possible. You know the bitch of it is, you don't get that tactical vest on professional either. Um, 
those of you who've never played this, the, the, the tactical vest, you get it. Um, there's, there's kind of three parts of this game. There's uh, the village, which is this bit. Uh, the castle, which is the middle segment, which is the most annoying segment in my eyes. And then there's the island, which is the last bit. And you get the tactical vest when you go to the island. And it reduces all the damage by a third, I think. I think it's a third. But you don't get it on professional, because, you know, you got to be professional. And everything hurts a shitload more than it does on normal. Like, I'm not really sure how much damage I can take, you know, how many hits I can take this early on. So yeah, that's why I'm using herbs straight away. I don't want to risk it. Like I say, I like to hoard items, but uh, if it needs using... It's, it's going to be used. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I'll end the first part here. Seems a nice save point. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this introductory episode to Resident Evil 4. Um, I've been your host, Moonwalker Morris. And I hope you join me on the next episode, guys. It's going to be good. I'm very excited about this walkthrough. Um, so, yeah. See you later, guys.